Hello all of you. So as we all know, in 2020 we were hit by the COVID pandemic. And just like all other things, even the way our actual exams are conducted saw some major changes as well. So today we will be discussing some of these changes that affect us as students from the April 2020 term. Until now it is continuing and they haven't really said till when this will continue. So as of now, the exams, all the exams are being conducted from your home online, both for the Indian Institute as well as for IFOA. However, the only difference is that IAI, the Indian Institute, does proctoring. Now what is proctoring? Basically, they will provide you with a separate browser or a separate software on which they will be conducting their examination. And in that software, it will constantly track your microphone and your camera. So basically, it is like an online invigilation. However, there is no such thing for IFOA, which is a positive point. However, this is the reason why students from IFOA have to be extra careful while giving, uh, answering their papers. This we will come to in the next point. So one positive thing for IFOA again is that it is an open book exam. However, for IAI, this is not the case, which means IAI students have to prepare for their exams in the same way as they used to do it before the COVID era. Uh, before the COVID era. But for IFOA students, even though it is an open book exam, they have to be very careful that proper referencing is given every time they refer to the material. So most of the actuarial papers, they are practical in nature and there are a very few theory questions involved that are directly from the book. Even when it was offline, this was the case. So even though open book is not such a great thing, it does uh, help you become more confident, but be sure that you are giving proper referencing we have a different video on the referencing for IFOA and IA students. However, just to remind you all, referencing is when you're referring to the book for let's say an answer or a formula. Even if it's for a formula, if you're referring to the tables book even, here you have to mention in your answer script that this has been taken or you can just write reference and then you have to write the uh, subject name of course let's say cm1 where you are taking the reference from let's say we are taking it from the study material published by acted cmp 2019 edition the chapter number and the page number other details specific to some questions they have been addressed in a different video but as of now this is important especially for the ifo students because Constantly every term students are getting mails for plagiarism for collusion So you have to be crystal clear and hundred percent transparent while answering your paper. Okay one very important thing Even though many of us expected it maybe but there is absolutely no change or reduction in the syllabus for any of the papers Of course every term they do make some amends they do uh, change the order of chapters or some of the content, but that is something completely uh, unrelated to the pandemic. It is something which they do it as a regular practice. So no, there is no reduction in the syllabus. It is completely the same. So that you all do not have to worry about. One important change is the time given for answering the paper. So when it was offline, we used to get 15 minutes as reading time and then three hours to write our papers. This is for the most of the papers. Of course, for some papers, the timings were a little different, but the general thing was three hours writing time and 15 minutes reading time. Since the COVID pandemic, now that the exams are conducted online, this three hours and 15 minutes are clubbed together and you get an overall three hours, 15 minutes, which includes the reading and writing time. It basically means that now they are not demarcating your time from before. You can read whenever you want to in that three hours, 15 minutes, and you can start writing as soon as you download the paper. Okay. And plus they have added another five minutes, which is to provide for the time that is taken to download the paper. Be assured that this time, this three hours, 20 minutes does not include the time you get for uploading your answer script. After this, there is an additional half an hour usually provided. 15 minutes to half an hour is provided 
to the candidates for uploading their answer script on the portal but these 15 to 30 minutes are strictly not for writing. 3 hours 20 minutes is when the bell should ring in your ears that you have to stop typing immediately. Be very careful about this because uh, for all now that it's online, of course you all know that edits can be tracked very easily. So if you are starting to type before the paper is downloaded, which means before the exam has started, if you start typing, even if you type your name or give the header, footer, etc., even if you do all this, still the time that your document was created will show as before the exam began. So that is not a good thing. It is considered to be an unfair mean. So make sure that you download the paper and only after that you will open the MS Word application and only after that will you type absolutely anything in your answer script. Same goes for the last edit time. Last edit time is when the last change was made to your Word document that you are uploading. Word document or Excel document, whatever, whatever uh, is for your paper. So now how do we ensure that? Before, as soon as your 3 hours 20 minutes ends, make sure that you close your word file. Cross it because in case your space bar is pressed or any key is pressed, your last edit time will change immediately. So it's always better that you save your work and then you cross it. Only after that you open the portal to upload your answer script finally. Alright? So very, very important. Now where is the exam conducted? For the IFOA, for the uh, IFOA, the pair exams are conducted primarily on MS Word, MS Excel and R. MS Excel and R, just like offline exams, it's the same for paper B exams. You have to give it in MS Excel or R, depending on the paper. And the paper A, which is the usually the written papers, those papers are to be answered in MS Word application only for IAI. Only for IAI, the difference is that the CB series, CB1, CB2, CP3, these three papers are not conducted on MS Word, but on the text editor. Why the text editor? Because these three papers are papers which involve only, uh, I would say, only alphabets. They do not really require much of equations and numbers etc. So those papers which require equations, numbers etc. are conducted on MS Word for example CM1, CS1. However, for these three papers it's the text editor. You all don't have to worry where will we get the text editor. It is there in their own browser which they will be providing you. So no worries over there and the entire technical details are made in a separate video. The link to which we will attach in the comment section below. So now, of course, now that it's online, it's home based, things are different, especially for IFO students, it's an open book exam. So naturally, the questions that they are asking and how they are asking has changed. Another reason why they had to bring in some changes in their pattern of asking questions was because now that you have to type your answers on MS Word, so of course, there is an additional effort they have to provide for. Because of this, questions are not very straightforward. They are more analytical, more uh, more sort of commenting, uh, analyzing, explaining, discussing. These sort of questions will be asked, which test your concepts. And as for the algebraic portions, which require a lot of uh, intense typing on MS Word, some papers, they change it to MCQs or they have increased the marks uh, allotted to such questions. So don't think that um, because it's online on MS Word or anything, you will have to, <coughs> you will face problems. You will not, provided that you practice enough. You all should start practicing on MS Word at least two and a half to three months before your examination so that by the time you sit to write the final examination, you are well equipped with the entire new setup. And even though they are giving extra marks, you can do well and finish your paper in the stipulated time. Two more important changes that are not directly related to COVID. However, they are, they came about in the similar time period. One is the way of checking results. Earlier, a public list used to be published by the institutes where you could uh, search for your name and find out if you had cleared or not. 
for iii a list is still published but for ifo the list is not published anymore how do you check your results you have to go to their website www.actuaries.org.co.uk and then you can you have to log in using your arn and password after which you go to the my exam section and in the my exam section you will get an option or a key as uh, download exam letters so the exam letter is actually your certificate for passing the exam and only in that section will you be able to download your exam letter at the time of publishing results and in that exam letter you will get to know whether you have cleared or not cleared your examination no more list is published so be sure that when the time for results comes you have logged in to the website and you are ready on that page where you can check your result another thing is that from 2021 There is no exemption allowed from IFO to IAI and IAI to IFO. Up to 2021, the students who had cleared their papers, they can take the exemption, and we have a separate video for that as well, where we have explained the entire technicalities and methods and constraints for taking exemption in either of the institutes. So that's all. I hope all of you stay safe, healthy. and study very well and clear all your exams with flying colors thank you so much